Hi everybody, Noah, the Peaceful Wanderer here, coming to you from Provence, France. Uh, in the beautiful vineyards, I took a nice bike ride today and I found this little spot. And I think it's a great, great little area to talk to you about something that, you know, I discovered after many years of self-discovery. I was originally um, very confused as a young person and was searching for a direction in life. And I was turned on to a philosopher by the name of Eckhart Tolle. And he has a book called The Power of Now. And, and then from there, I went into different people like Gandhi and Gurdjieff and Krishnamurti. And I started studying all these different philosophers and gurus and teachers. And it took me a while to realize that, you know, everyone, all of them had their own different way of teaching and their own different idea or belief. And it wasn't until I really made the discovery that belief in itself was dangerous because a belief means I only follow that one specific way. And as good as that way may be, a belief will always divide us from other people. Because if I believe one thing and you believe another, we'll never find a common ground because at the end of the day, we'll always feel that our way is right and the other person's way may be wrong. We may not be physically violent with them, but we'll always be in conflict psychologically with them. And so when I saw this, this problem, I dropped belief. And it wasn't that I don't believe, it's that I see the danger in belief. So therefore, when someone asks me, do you believe in God? I don't believe in God. I see God all around me. I see creation, I see this beautiful, planet that we live on, this solar system, I see all these beautiful things growing and the vines and I realize that mankind didn't make those things. Those things were made long before we arrived. And the things that we make are very ugly and, you know, they pollute, they don't recycle back into the earth. And all the things that we don't make seem to have this beautiful harmony and this balance. So for me, that's, that's the sign of a creator, something that, is crea that created that thing, but I'm not going to put any more behind it. I'm not going to create a belief system behind it because I just can only observe that. I'm not going to say someone told me this or I believe this or I believe that. I'm going to let go of all that so I'm not divided from anyone. But I think anyone can see this beauty around us that we didn't create. And so for me, that's the that life, that force that we carry, that's, that's God in my opinion. Um, but I don't have to have it as a belief. That's more of a feeling. So once I dropped following all these other people, then I was free to use bits and pieces from all of them. And I think that's what creates a real quality life is when there's a balance between all the great teachers, when you can take from this great teacher and that great teacher and, and feel like your whole life encompasses everything that everyone has taught us because they all have something to teach us. The farmer has something to teach us about how to grow vines, but he doesn't have the only way to grow vines. There might be someone else in some other country that's doing it a little different, and that exposes a whole new way to do it. And I found this in, you know, in all my different learnings and all the different teachings I've been established with, uh, uh, been in contact with, that they all have little different things that they can teach you. And that's so, so important to becoming a well-rounded human being who can find that peace. Because as long as you're attached to one belief or another belief or someone's idea, and this is the only way to go, and Buddha's the only way to be, you're going to always be in conflict with someone else. So rather than be in conflict, I'd rather be in contact with everyone. And that way I can have discussions with the Buddhist, and I can have discussions with the Christians and the Muslim, and find beauty in all their things as opposed to just being attached to one. And so that's all I have to say today. I hope everyone enjoyed the talk. I'm going to get back on my bicycle and head home, have some nice dinner, and have a great day. Peace.